This tutorial will guide you through setting up the clip store on a Cayenne or Carrera switcher and testing its operation. There are two clip store options, one for a two-channel K2 Solo and one for a four-channel K2 Summit. Check on the Install Options menu to verify that the switcher is licensed for the hardware that you are using. It is assumed that the clip store is cabled up, the input and output connections are known and it is functional. When installing the clip store, the first thing to set is the clip store IP address. In the switcher engineering setup menu, select the node settings sub-menu and the frame, suite, nodes and ID tab and either verify the clip store IP address is correct or set the IP address to the IP address of the clip store. If it is needed to change the IP address of the clip store itself, refer to the installation instructions for the clip store to ensure the file based write filter is disabled before setting the IP address, otherwise the change will not be permanent. Turn on the enable button to activate the connection to the clip store. The indicator may not turn green at this time. Select the Engineering Setup Status submenu and verify that the Clip Store Summit appears in the list of the connected nodes. Also verify that the Clip Store has the correct software version for the switcher software currently installed. Next, set up the Clip Store inputs in the Source Definition menu. Select the engineering ID number in the source list for the clip store and set the video input number. Turn on linear key and set the key input number. All clip store channels record and playback video and key. Turn on shaped video as this is typically the video format used for recording keyed sources. Select Device and press the External Device pad to call up the list of devices. Choose the Clip Store channel being configured from the list of devices. The Clip Store channel names are fixed at CS1 through CS4. If the key channel is also going to be mapped separately, as is often the case, Select the engineering ID for the key input and set the input number and type in the name for the source. Do not set the key source as a device. Repeat this procedure for all the other Clip Store channels. Next, select the Clip Store Config submenu. The input numbers set for the Clip Store channels will appear in the top of the configuration menu. For a new installation, the Clip Store config settings should be set, then sent to the Clip Store. If it is required to check the current status of the Clip Store, the config can be retrieved by pressing the Read From Clip Store button. Only some of the K2 Summit configuration settings can be set from the switcher. All other Clip Store parameters are fixed and sent to the Clip Store when the Send to Clip Store button is pressed. The first parameters to set up are the Clip Store Global Record Setup settings. These settings will be applied to all channels for both record and playback. The input line rate is normally set to the line rate of the switcher. A choice of aspect ratio is available for SD formats of 4x3 or 16x9, and the recording compression will be in the DVC Pro format. For 720p and 1080i, the aspect ratio is fixed at 16x9. A choice of compression is available between AVC Intra and DVC Pro HD. Either format can be used but note that it will not be possible to edit between clips recorded in different formats. Status indicators show the status of the clip store reference and ancillary timecode. Each of the output channels for the clip store 1 through 4 have independent control of how the output converts video that was recorded with a different aspect ratio. The still mode can also be set between field and frame when playback video is stopped. Each output 
also has different timing adjustments if needed. Normally the clip store is directly connected to the switcher inputs so the settings are normally left at zero. There is also a button to enable bars and tone to be sent to the output of each channel to enable testing of each channel's connections. Once all the clip store record and replay parameters are set, the configuration can be sent to the clip store. To change a configuration, all clips will need to be ejected. A warning message indicating that the clips will be ejected will be displayed prior to sending the configuration to the clip store. The timecode menu of the clip store channels is set in the Devices Enables menu. For each clip store channel, the timecode can be set to either Auto, Vitsi, LTC, or Tape Time. Tape Time is the default. The last item to set up for the clip store is the video inputs. The clip store channels are normally supplied from switcher aux buses. It is not usually necessary to cable up each channel for recording unless it is either not known which channel will be used for recording or multiple simultaneous channel recording is required. Open the Engineering Setup, Outputs submenu, select the physical output number used to connect to the clip store input. Choose the output type as aux and select the logical aux bus to feed the clip store. Then select the clip store input channel for this output. This will automatically pair the outputs as A and B to provide both video and key signals into the clip store. Verify that the suite settings match the suite where the clip store is being used. If a second suite is not being used, select suite 1. Repeat this procedure for any other clip store channels which are being fed from switcher outputs. It should now be possible to select the video into the clip store channel and record and play back a clip. To verify the operation of the clip store, first select the image store menu, replay, and record submenu and choose clip record and edit. Select the channel for recording, select the current folder touchpad and either choose a folder to record into or press create and make a new folder. Press done to return to the record menu screen. Press record enable. Enter a name for the clip and press enter. A placeholder for the clip will appear in the clip store clip window with the chosen name. Select a source for recording on the aux bus feeding the channel being used. This can be done from the menu by selecting the source ops aux bus submenu, selecting the aux bus feeding the clip store, and choosing a source from the source list. The clip store aux buses may also be mapped to the local aux panel for fast selection of sources. Choose the clip store record channel as a source to feed a monitor connected to a switcher output in order to verify the video being fed into the clip store channel. Return to the clip record and edit menu and press the record button. The timecode display on the record channel will start incrementing. After a suitable time, stop recording. The channel will return to playback mode. Click on the thumbnail of the recorded clip to load it. Press play to verify the recording was successful. The clip store configuration can be saved as part of the engineering setup file. This completes the configuration and testing of the clip store.